This is a game changer. The sound test room. Serious game changer. Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jakob Huck. I'm your host. This is The Hack Attack Show. I think this is one of my most fun videos. Well, the video I've had most fun recording. This is insane. That is Audiobus Remote. It's a remote for Audiobus. I've had this for one day. This is a game changer. Serious game changer. What you can do live with the app is incredible. We all recognize this. Okay, so I want to switch from one app to another. Double tap on the home button and then switch to the app, right? Wrong. 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 So I want to switch to Audiobus. So I press Audiobus and it's switched just like that. It's awesome. I want to switch to Propellerhead's Thor and it's switched like that. Serious game changer. I just want to do something first. I just want to play something for you that I've made. I've basically loaded up patterning. I've been invited to test patterning and uh, I must say it's one of the best drum machines I've ever used. I love this one. It looks really, really good and it performs well. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to play something for you and I'm going to use the remote app and I'm going to use Thor just to play something small. What I've done is I've taken sounds from my bell presets I made for Thor and I recorded them into Cubases and then sent them as samples into patterning. I'm going to show you how to connect audio bus remote and everything at the end of the performance and it's not going to be long so just bear with me. Now, I don't know uh, if you like that. <laughs> Either way, what you're able to do with remote is insane. Remote is much more than just a audio boss remote. You can actually do stuff on other apps. I am gonna shut everything off. And the first thing I'm gonna do actually is just go into audio share and stop the recording. So I have that saved for later. Now I'm gonna start by turning off everything just like that and I want you to see what happens from beginning to end so you know how to use Audiobus remote basically I've got Audiobus remote loaded on my phone so press that and Audiobus remote opens and it's gonna tell you instantly what it needs to be done for it to work and function together with Audiobus and it actually says bring Audiobus to the foreground on another device and make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. I'm gonna just for the you know I'm just gonna turn off Bluetooth here. I've, uh, I've got Bluetooth on here and then I'm gonna open up Audiobus and then I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth and watch this screen. <laughs> Are you enjoying audio bus remote so far? Uh, I'm sorry, Sebastian, but right now I need to do something else. I can't rate this now. I'll do it later, I promise. Uh, don't ask me again, I I'll do it myself. All right, so it's loaded. It can see Audiobus now, and as you can see, nothing's really loaded in Audiobus. So we need to load a few things for it to work. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna find patterning. Patterning is also a new app that's coming out soon enough. Uh, it's an awesome machine and I love it. It's my number one drum machine right now. Yeah, that's that's how good it is for me. 
Now that is loaded, and as you can see, instantly something pops up on the Audiobus remote on my iPhone 5. You can also see A, B, D, and E, and those are pattern uh, choices you can make. You can switch between patterns, and that's what I did in my live performance earlier. You can press play, you can also rewind and, you know, go to end. So that's a very nice, very nice feature there. Sebastian, great work. Sebastian Dittmann uh, is the founder behind Audiobus. Without developers doing stuff like this, we wouldn't have all those amazing tools. Now in the next slot, I'm gonna load up something else. Um, let's load up something from Holderness Media, Swoopster. Swoopster, a really cool app. And as you can see, Audiobus Remote loads up all of the different controls that is accessible through the AB Remote inside Swoopster. Very, very insane. I, I don't know how many apps are compatible with this, but a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of developers are probably gonna take a look at AB Remote and, you know, utilize what, what it provides. Imagine this for a live performance when you don't have to double tap home screen to switch between apps. Imagine it when you want to change patterns in one app and you don't have to go to that app, you can still just perform. You can also use Audiobus Remote on an iPad. And I've tried it, it works both ways. I'm just gonna load up AudioShare. We go to AudioShare and I'm just gonna start up the uh, recording and record and go back to audio bus or maybe patterning it doesn't matter because i can control it from here so let's just play this it might have distorted a bit but seriously that sounded awesome before we started this i just went to the audio share app and started record but I, I i don't have to do i i want to stop the recording now so there all you live performance people sitting in the studio tired of switching screens wanting to do more with your apps without having to go through all that menu changing audio bus remote you're gonna want it it's really cheap it's really cheap for something like this. What it can do for us, how it can free us even further. Sebastian Dittmann and the team already gave us Audiobus and Audiobus did so much for us. Audiobus Remote, a game changer too. So Audiobus Remote, I love you. I'm gonna use you a lot and you know that. So I suggest you go and spend those five puny bucks on Audiobus Remote. Maybe record some videos, put some stuff up on SoundCloud. You know I love sharing. Go get it from the App Store. This is Jakob Hack signing off. And as usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hack from SoundTestRoom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Yeah, yeah.